Hi everyone, it's Stacy from PeonyLaneDesigns.com. Have you subscribed to the channel yet? If not, what do they do? Click the little blue button. <laughs> Don't forget to click the subscribe button, comment down below, like this video, and click the bell icon to be notified. I woke them all up at 6 a.m. and here we are at 7 hitting the road. So a bunch of them open at 7 and we're going to get there and get a bunch of stuff. Um, I'm down $100 from yesterday on a Wednesday with three hours we were out. <laughs> three hours and I, I'm down $100. It's going to be a good day. This is our first full day of junkin' and... You'll need to unlock your iPhone first. Uh, Nancy, that's you. Me? Yeah, your phone is talking to you. <laughs> Usually it's Victoria. Uh, so we're going to hit the road. We've got a full day of junk ahead of us. We we'll, can't wait to see what we find. All right, we hit our first sale and our first dealer. And he was following me around the sale like on my butt. Am I wrong, Victoria? Mm -hmm. And he took a picture of my purchases because he, I got there before him. So you snooze, you lose, dude. But we, are, we got an actual legitimate treasure box. I got a wooden box that's locked. We have no idea what's in it and there's no key. So it takes a skeleton key and I know we've got a few of those. So we're going to try and get it open. But it's a treasure box. We just hit a fundraising garage sale. Can you see what I bought? Point it out, Victoria. Maybe they can't see it. <laughs> I paid $30 for those three rolls of fabric. It'll go to good use. I'm running out of cash and the car's getting full. And my daughter became a reseller. <laughs> What'd you start reselling, Peekaboo? Bags, clothes, skincare, makeup. She bought a Nintendo DS game for a hundred. It goes for a hundred. The sold listing on eBay was one hundred and fifty. Seventy. One hundred and seventy. How much did you pay for it? Uh, a buck. One dollar. That's my daughter. Okay, I'm about to go out and go through the car and load up my car and show you everything I got. I ran out of money by 10. So, uh, we were done for the day and I have not received my payment from the newspaper yet. So I can't go to the ATM and it was really frustrating because then I had to stop shopping. But a lot of my money went to my daughter because she, I saw the spark. She picked up a Nintendo DS game and then looked at the sold price on eBay and got really excited. So then she started looking at clothing and purses and now she's started her resale journey like the rest of us started out. But I've got a few pieces in here in the cabin that I wanted to show you guys, but I'll show you something else. See them out on the porch. That's my mother-in-law and my daughter. Victoria bought this lamp for her room. She picked that up. I mean, all of this clothing here, it just, it cost a small fortune of my money in those books that Victoria bought at the library, Friends of the Library sale. <laughs> anyway, I got two Hager um, planters. So this one was $3 for some reason. And there was a second one in here. This one was only a dollar. Um, it's a pedestal one. I don't want to take it all out. So these, this is a John Deere sweatshirt hoodie that Victoria wanted. And this is some other hoodie that she bought or sweatshirt. I don't even know. Then in here is a book, um, Christmas in Minnesota. This is an autographed copy. Both of the Marilyn, whatever, and Brian, whoever signed a copy of this. This will go in the booth. It'll sell at Christmas time because people will, you know, They'll love it. Minnesota authors did some stories. So this is an Apartment 9 scarf. It's just super soft and really nice. And I think it'll go good in the booth as well this winter. I mean, it's Minnesota. We get cold. And then these were 50 cent t-shirts. They were all Monster Energy t-shirts. And we bought them. So there's three different Monster Energy t-shirts. And we noticed that they're going for... 14 to 16 dollars online between the three of them the three different patterns the sold prices in july have been 14 to 16 dollars so victoria is going to be selling those and let's go to the car 
Okay, so most of this is mine. <laughs> Some of it I bought for Victoria, like these shirts to resell. Um, the Harley Davidson tank tops, I, we picked up, these were like two bucks and they're selling online from 14 to 20. This Rugrats, uh, this is selling for almost 50. And then the Tupac Poetic Justice shirt also selling in the 30 to $45 range. This birdhouse we picked up at the first stop of the day. It was in the free, bo free box. It needs a new bottom, but I don't care. I can replace that and it'll go in the booth. I picked this up. It's a total wild card, but it was a field and stream fishing vest, so I bought it. I'm going to take a chance. Picked up this adorable quilt. This was $5. It's very cute. At the same sale, I got this new and package cotton cloud thermal blanket, also $5. Picked up a couple cute little trucks for my nephew. This was another purse Victoria wanted to pick up. It's a Converse bag. It's a cute little bag. I know nothing about purses, so this is this is all her. I did pick up a pair of Arctic cat boots for 50 cents. They're in good condition. They've got the liners. They're hardly, I mean, they're dirty, but they're hardly worn. And they were 50 cents, so I bought them to rest. Tupperware glasses for 10 cents. All of these linens were 50 cents for all of them. Um, they do have some stains, like this one has a few stains, so we'll have to take a look at to see if we can get those out. Um, this one is dirty as well, but for 50 cents for all three, I took them. Found a gnome, cute little mid-century garden gnome. He's adorable, $3. And I bought four rolls of upholstery fabric. So this was a sale I did not want to go to because it was for a family, it was a cancer sale. Um, so it was free will donation and I knew I was going to overspend, but I think I did all right. So this is $30 I paid for all four rolls. Um, this one was the prettiest, I think, with the velvet and sort of faux shantung silk look to it. This one was really pretty too with the birds. I mean, these were high end at one time. This looks similar to the one that I've already got, the Ralph Lauren, um, but it is a different texture. This has more of a smooth texture, where the one that I had has a more nubbly texture, so I picked this up. But all four rolls were $30. I got a bag of books at the library sale. This is a series I want to read called Miss Julia Meets Her Match. Miss, Miss Julia series Meets Her Match, but these were um, large print books which it's fine. I'll move them on when I'm done reading them. But then a bunch of kids' books. So they had in the wind. Yeah. I wish I could pause the wind for you, but the Sesame Street books were vintage Sesame Street books. And then I got the Stone Soup book. These were all Sesame Street. So we'll see what we can do with those. This was the clock pictures of and he followed me around that sale really close. It still lights up the clock which does not work so that has to be repaired. Um, but I still think it's a good piece of the bottle cap. It's very cute. A Disney puzzle book that I'll be listing online. Um, these frame ones, I don't know, they're for younger kids but Disney is hot so I bought it. I got a pair of kids um, Sorel winter boots. These were 50 cents. They're in really good condition. They're a little dirty. They're not very warm. So they will go online and hopefully make a profit on that. And then I found some cheese boxes. Both of these were a dollar. There's the large um, pasteurized cheese box, small cheese box. And then this luminous dial clock was in the free box. So you can see it was one dollar. I took this and maybe somebody can use it for parts. We'll see. And then I yelled, Lord, send me some uh, needlepoint. And then I found this. This was $1. And it's actually not in bad condition. There's a couple stains that I saw. Um, I think I can get this clean, so I picked it up. 
Elsa picked this up at the same time, also $1. Both of these were $1. Um, the lace was just really pretty. I know it's worn, but I was thinking somebody might want the lace, so I bought it. Didn't feel like anybody else was gonna buy it. And then in this holiday box that I picked up for $1 was vintage Christmas cards. So the whole thing is full of them. And uh, for ephemera like this, we can put it in a, a plastic wrap and usually get one to three dollars depending on the actual greeting itself. So we'll see. I picked up a couple other books too. So this one is House Dresses, Decoys, Picking Rocks, and Other Stories. It's just a story of memories of a bygone era. I enjoy books like this, so I picked that up for myself. Is this signed too? Yeah, look at that it is. And then this was also from the Friends of the Library sale. Maybe we'll make some Christmas ornaments. We'll have to take a peek at this and see if there's anything that sparks interest. Otherwise, it'll go in the booth. This bag. They got a reindeer, too. Anyway, this bag uh, were some cool candles. So they're the plastic electric candles that somebody had already decorated. This one is glass candle. It's a double candle that is Christmas themed. And then she had this elf on the shelf that makes noise and a church cookbook. And then also at the same garage sale, she had a cup of Christmas tea, the cup with the saucer and the mini version of the book. So I found the large version of the book, the salt pepper shaker, the candle holders, the cup, and something else. Mm, can't remember, but anyway. Oh, the, the sugar bowl. So I almost have a full set of the cup of Christmas tea stuff. I don't know if I'll put it online or put it in my book, but yeah, I was just happy to have them. And then the last thing I got was this box. She sold it to me for $1. It is locked. She did not have a key. So we'll have to see if we can find a key that will work in there find out what's in it. It's like a treasure hunt, you guys. I have no idea what's in this box. And I almost forgot this. So this was in the free box at one of the garage sales. It is the trim, a hand crocheted trim from the bottom of a pillowcase, obviously. So somebody can sew this to a new pillowcase, but for free, I'll take it home and see if anybody wants it. And there is the cup of Christmas tea book that I got for 50 cents. So the full book, I'm so excited to have this up. All right, so that's everything that I got today, guys. And I wanted to just say that there were a lot, and I mean a lot, of other resellers out there this time around, which typically we don't see. And Victoria and I were commenting on it because it was like at every stop there were resellers, and you could tell them. But the thing I notice is that so many of them are behaving badly. Like, it was embarrassing to be a reseller and watch them because I the rudeness like Victoria she's sitting over here I keep looking at her was looking at a purse and this woman was like standing right next to her and before Victoria could even push it put it down she pulled it out of Victoria's hand and you know because she's knows the brand <gasps> oh she did that thing and it was like okay stop stop and my mother-in-law said I'm not even sure how you know they're resellers oh you can tell and then one of them was driving a van there from Cambridge down by where we live. And it's like, uh, and they were behaving, they were behaving atrociously. And then one of the, um, locals had said something about all these people coming up from the cities and then they want everything cheap. And it's like, it's already cheap. You guys know, I talk about it and I share the prices with you. They are cheap enough. You know what I'm saying? And they're, they're wanting the bundle and wanting all this stuff. I'm like, there is plenty of meat on the bone. When I'm buying stuff for a quarter, there is plenty of meat on that bone. So it was kind of embarrassing to watch their behavior and how they were like pushing people out of the way, nearly running people down in the street. They parked in the middle of the road. I'm like, okay, I know you're trying to get there and find stuff, but don't do that. You know, so I hope that people who are resellers who are watching me know that there's no need to do that. 
It's just, you don't have to do it. You can calmly, I move fast, but I've never run anybody down. I've never pushed anybody out of my way. I've never ripped things out of people's hands, except my sister's. <laughs> she didn't want that anyway. <laughs> But it was another good day. I ran out of cash by 10 o'clock. I just hit the ATM. We went to dinner um, in town in, in St. Cloud. And I hit the, hit my bank is in St. Cloud. So I hit the ATM. And we have another $60 to spend for tomorrow. And that'll be the last day of shopping. It's Friday. So technically Saturday will be like a wrap up day. But I never go out on Saturday because it's already picked. Um, but we'll go tomorrow and find more stuff. I still have room in the trunk. You're still room in the car. We've got more shopping to do. Happy junking, you guys. Bye. 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 She's listing on, oh, I forgot to tell you. Her first eBay listing is up. She listed this purse. I'll put a link in the description below if anybody wants a purse. Visit my blog, peonylanedesigns.com for more tips, tricks, and inspiration. Thanks for watching everyone. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon so you'll be notified of new videos. I post every week DIY tutorials and of course, more Junkin videos.